Thank you are for your patience. Live? We are. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Um, so we're going to put you. Hold on a second. All right. So who wants to give a recap of the previous game? I can do that. Um, we discussed contracts again for an extended oh, yeah. period of time. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, there's what? a lot of contract Us? discussion with this game. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. For uh, considering that, like, like f now four of the five of us have a chaotic alignment. Like we we are mm -hmm. surprisingly concerned about the nuances of law. And uh, I blame Pruitt. It's a hundred percent his fault. Uh, yeah, it's totally. So um, Tom tracked down the assassin that tried to kill Pruitt. That is on, on retainer from uh, Sir Tapper. Mm -hmm. And found out that the bounty on her heads is a thousand gold pieces, and that Which makes you feel pretty good, I guess. I guess, but he got like a group rate, so you know, I don't know uh, if it's like a thousand each or it's just like a thousand total. But uh, anyway, that's, that's good. We're worth a little bit of money, but uh, was not willing to be bought off, which was you know unfortunate. And then we, uh. Sarith and Nerissa had a discussion about the future, and then we all kind of Pruitt did some spell stuff, and then we all decided we were going to go to the Baroness's Manor and go in through the entrance. The main we're going to go through the main door. We're just going to walk right in because the half orc mm -hmm. lady is like, "Cool, I, there's going to be half the number of guards there normally would. Knock yourselves out." And we said, "Okie doke." <laughs> And then we got to a, we just walked in the front door and started killing guards because there's a lot of guards, by yeah, the way, a lot of guards. I feel like maybe we might have been set up instead of half double. Well, <laughs> it was definitely not double. You saw a bunch of guards getting led away and and carried off in various states of inertness. Well, whatever the case may be, we got into a Benny Hill sort of combat where nobody could hit anything for several rounds. And that is true. That, that's where we left off. We're in the entryway of the Baroness's Manor. Yeah. Did I, okay. lose anything? Yeah. Did I miss anything? I probably missed something. Um, my zombie breeds fire. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fire. That was obviously a very important part. Of Possibly the, the most important part. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that is correct. That is where we left off. Go ahead and gain inspiration, Steve. I'll take that inspiration. All right. And um, yeah. So yes, yes, you have a a hand. Uh, uh, you know, I think it was a quarter of the normal guards that are on staff on on the grounds, uh, and you slew them all. So instead of there being fifty guards, there were only like twelve. Um, and yeah, and you slew all of them. I don't think a single one got away. I think a couple tried to run but failed or were murdered by Tom or Sarath. And uh, yeah, and you are in the the entryway, the entry hall of the Baroness's Manor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pro is like, like going over here to like invest investigate these bodies, just like pulling out this. Tools and utensils, and be like, okay, well, this one he's only lost um, half of his blood, so this does, might work okay. Pruitt, do you have calipers? You're like measuring their. Uh huh. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like some well, Willette magazine stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Sarath wants to uh, <laughs> keep going through this place because his darkness and his uh, mirror images are only going to last for so long. <laughs> that is uh, true. You've used up like three rounds of that already? That's So that's in darkness, Tom, just so you know. Sarath is here. The darkness is three squares around him. There you go. Uh, Ser Tom is, is going to follow the blob of darkness unless something shiny presents itself, in which case he is going to detour and take that and put it in his pocket because he okay. was makes sense because there's this i mean this is a baroness's manor there's got to be some shiny mm -hmm. stuff to pocket so there you, uh, you make a perception check i will make a perception check maybe hold on perception 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's some shiny stuff. There's some antlers on the wall. Yeah, yeah those are kind of shiny. That's not mm. shiny. There's a bookshelf that's also not shiny. There's the candelabra. It's kind of shiny, but it looks kind of, you know, it's fine. Right. And well, uh, does it fit in your pocket? Let on... me do this. Animate dead. Okay. So you, are you getting two new two newbies? Okay. So let's nice. Let's refresh your hit points on these ones. Hold on, and we're gonna just use the same the same two. Uh, is it these two that you're right next to that are, that look like they were killed in one blow each? Okay. Yeah. We'll just do this, this, and we'll move. As you hear the bone gurgling, popping, grossers. What is it? I get four zombies now, Bobby. Oh, oh, correct. Correct. There's two Sorry, don't go away. away. <laughs> oh. They're still I there. See. <laughs> I see. Hold a moment. So let me just move these. There you go. There we there go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. Of course. Why not have 124 hit points worth of zombies as a Insane. necromancer level seven? Cool. 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 This is fine. This is everything. Insane. Fine. Uh, um, please don't I'm... cast summon animal. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn to everyone and say, "All right, we got limited time. Um, try and make as little noise as possible. Grab whatever you want. It's yours. Uh, let's kill a baroness." At uh, like that, that point. point. Uh, arise, um, arise. Can you just um, come, come arise? There we go. Thank you. Follow me. Oh my Jesus, god, it through it. Zombies. Like... Even on oh, a murder right, mission, you're a nerd. Some, somebody check the room in the back. Uh, somebody check the room in the front. And then we got stairs to go up. Uh, what was Tom's passive perception? 15? 15, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, so as you're like walking over this way, Tom, like as you're looking for shiny things, what you what you see is it's not a shiny thing so much as it's a book out of place on this bookshelf over here. Okay. And it's like upside down and in a weird position and doesn't look like it's actually a book. All right, he'll yank on it. Okay, so you yank on it and this bookshelf just slides all the way open. Uh, hold on a second. Um, let's do one of these. So you see, um, so there's this kind of like grisly looking old human man um he's got kind of like a, a like a gnarled fist that's kind of contorted in a way that's like stuck like this um and he's not using it it's just kind of like he's kind of holding it off to the side um and then with his other hand he's like drawing arcane sigils on um this like little altar cauldron thing it looks like he's doing he's engaged in some sort of research or some sort of shenanigans and uh against the wall over here um, behind this apparatus, in between some other apparati, uh, is some strange-looking human that is naked, um, <laughs> and uh, and bound and gagged. Is that the guy from Braveheart? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, he was always loosely based off that guy. That's so good. And the 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 person who is doing all of that doesn't seem to have noticed that you have entered the room. All right, cool. I'm going to shoot him. Okay, go ahead and <laughs> make a shot with advantage because he doesn't know you're there. Cool. I'm going to sharpshoot him then. Okay, great. Oh, come on. <laughs> thirteen. Does a thirteen hit have advantage? Hold on. Hold on. A thirteen. Let me check. You have advantage. Yes, it does. Oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you just, like, he at no point is aware of you. You loose your arrow, and it takes him right in the dome, and he drops, like, a sack of potatoes. Oh, dead. Wow. <laughs> Easiest XP of my life. <laughs> Incredible. Tom starts looting. Okay, Tom uh, starts looting. Hey what was that was that a specific monster from the book <laughs> i'm so curious what he was no it's yeah, the it's the weird guy from scary, scary movie <laughs> <laughs> with the curled with the curled hand the curled hand no yeah wait Great. from which book scary, scary movie from, the no, light, no, the i was asking if, that, if that's a monster from the monster manual the, or if that's just uh the guy from oh. scary movie Oh no! It was it was a monster from the monster manual, but but now it's now it's dead. <laughs> <What>? um, 
It was something from the monster manual, but now it's dead. So, uh, yeah, so he drops, and Tom, you start looting. Um, go, make an investigation check. Sure. I should really get trained in this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you you don't find anything of, of like, immediate and particular value. There are vials of various chemicals, um, none that you recognize offhand, but, th but this looks like kind of like an arcane laboratory. Um, it looks like he was in the middle of trying to do something. You can't really identify what are you trained in Arcana? <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, you have no idea what the fuck this guy was doing. But um, that's why I shot him. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, there's some books. There's some vials. There's various reagents. Uh, you don't Tom's have... literally just going to take a bag and just do one of these actions. <laughs> <laughs> to, to all of the stuff that's on the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want high or low? Uh, low. Technically, that's low. low. Technically, that's Technically low. That's so, low. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just put bag of miscellaneous reagents in on your um. I will on your character sheet. Bag um, o. I know I spelled that wrong. Google, shut up. <laughs> okay. Reagents. Um. All right. So you should have control over Blinky. Um, but of course you're still bound, gagged, and in, in a corner, yeah. so that's fine. Um, yeah. So you search the room. Uh, you loot some stuff. There are some other things that are bolted down or too heavy for it to go in your pockets. And then there's this guy down here. Anything that's uh, gagged. anything that I can't put in a bag, I'll break. Okay. And um, out of spite. And right. that, he's not going to go hard, but he's just going to like bend things or break. You know, just any sort of thing that he can easily break on his way over to. Okay. So there's there's like lines that crawl out of the the apparatus that's here, the one with the kind of glowing arcane sigil that kind of go along the walls and up into the room above. Are you uh, doing anything with that? You're breaking that too, smashing it or whatever. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom, yeah. Tom go considers ahead. anything that he can't steal as a personal affront. All right. Make a make an athletics check. Eh. Not my best skill. Athletics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't you you like you try to like ding it a little bit and it just All right. Well, you you gave you gave it the old goblin try. That's right. All right. Uh, yeah. But you you did break quite a few other things, pieces of equipment that looked pretty valuable that you Good. couldn't steal and Good. worthless, <laughs> ruined. Perfect. What's all that racket. No, then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just for it, go investigate. Um, he's he's probably too busy getting his zombies to line up in a line. Okay, let's see. Where is Sarah? Single, single so, file. Uh, so so Sarah, you so did you just to check in because I know that you've got a finite amount of time with both darkness and mirror image up. Okay, uh, that's right. You went, you went over this way. I fully went into the next room. Yeah. Okay, you fully go into the next room. It is empty. Great. Uh, then I'm gonna start heading up the stairs. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you start heading up the stairs. Um, okay, great. Um, okay, uh, so you're we're splitting the party. That's what I love to hear. One second, let me just do one of these. We'll put you. Oh, I can't do it that way, can I? I have to do it with your name down at the bottom of the page. Austin, we'll just do that, and Naressa, we'll just do that. Uh, and then the other half of the party is down there. Great. That's what we like to Wait, see. Wait, Kyle, you have blind fighting? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone who's not just going to be bitching at me for casting darkness the whole time. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, okay. Um, let me... Do a thing real quickly. Send to different layer because you are not here right now. Neither are you. Can you guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, oh, this room. She big. Yeah. So um, you can you can you can see all the way to the far side of the room, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's bright. It's well lit. There's there's nothing to obscure your vision. Um, so yeah. You 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 stroll up the stairs, uh, uh, an orb of darkness. Um, I what, what do you think? You have like four rounds of darkness left after all of this. 
Darkness lasts ten minutes. Oh, oh. mirror image. Mirror image lasts for ten yeah. rounds. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think you got? Like four or five rounds of mirror image left? Yeah, I'm gonna say I probably have four four left. Okay, four rounds of mirror image left. Great, great, great. <clears throat> um, so you you walk up the stairs. Yeah. And as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, you actually hear the sound of um, piano playing. Right. And uh, the room is more or less empty besides these two folks that you see up at the top there. Um, and a strange, unusual number of pianos. And an unusual number of pianos. Yes, this is, this is a, a music slash gathering hall with a great deal of pianos. The one, that, the one that's up here is the most finely wrought of them. Um, each of them looks like it was a master's, like masterly crafted, though you haven't had any time to investigate them. But you know that any one of these is probably worth more than every single one of your party members' lives combined, at least to the Baroness. Um, time for a piano duel. And and yeah, and and you you hear and you see. I guess you can see that far. You see the, the um, this woman. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw a with you. Um, you see her at the far end, kind of sitting at the piano, playing. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be this party's style, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, and and then you also see this other woman who looks vaguely familiar, and she turns, she leans down and whispers something to the Baroness, and you're too far away to hear what. Um, and then she stands up and walks over toward the darkness, and. As she gets closer, um, let's see. Eris is there, and Sarath is there. Mm, make a, I, I guess let's call this like a wisdom roll. I think we'll call this like a wisdom roll. Like a saving throw? Yeah, sure. Wisdom saving throw is fine. Oh, buddy. No. <laughs> Sarah. It's not a crit perfect. fail. It's not a crit fail. Yeah. So she, she walks up uh, and she, but it she walks. One. Yeah, she walks into your your darkness and uh, and then she kind of like sidesteps you and just keeps walking. And as she's walking past you, she says, Now please don't get yourselves killed. You've been so interesting so far. Be gentle with my daughter. And then walks down the stairs. Uh. And uh, Eris, you recognize her, actually. She looks a lot different because when you met her the first time, she was, like, ragged and in commoner's clothes. Um, but... Hold on. Um, there you go. Yeah. What? So, so yeah, you re you recognize Karis Dunmore uh, from having rescued her in the middle of the forest at one point a week or so ago. Um, I told you we should have killed her. I told you. Nobody and... listens to the goblin. Oh, the goblin's a homicidal maniac. True, but he's not wrong. <laughs> also, uh, she needs a sandwich. Man. Somebody get that woman a sandwich. Karis Dunmore is... The Baroness's mom? Daughter. Right? right? Daughter? Because she's the Baroness. Daughter. Daughter. No, no, you, you had it right. She said, she, what she said was, you know, my, uh, my, oh, damn, where did that go? That's annoying. Well, that's fine. Um, anyway. Oh, well, she's looking yeah, good no, for her age. Those... Yeah. Sarah, Sarah is very confused right now because he's pretty sure the drunk guy that he was talking to said that she would that the Baroness's parents were killed and there was a funeral for them ten years ago. And yeah, and then the uh, the rest of the party, uh, I guess Pruitt, because uh, the rest of the party is in a in a room over here. 
um, and, and we'll pop back to Tom and see what's going on with him and Blinky here in a sec. Because Pruitt, you know, you're raising your undead, your undead army, and then behind you, um, you you hear you hear like a a, a slight gentle chuckle, um, and and Karis says, "I see you've doubled your manservants already. Wonderful, you show promise. Would you have you made any progress on our agreement?" Oh well, um, uh, uh, slight progress. Uh, we're we're still in the in the research um, phase and 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 gathering materials, but um, we um, we had some great leads that didn't quite pan out, but um, we're investigating some others now. Well, I, this is a bit premature. Y yes, you, you said um, th uh, three days is what, when you were looking for. Um, it, we, if we went back to our original agreement, three three days is, and it's only been about one. I, I think is that um, passage of time is kind of hard to uh, understand this twilight realm that I'm not quite used to yet. Um, it, um, well, it was there, it, 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 is that, is, am I correct? With the, we still have two, two, 72 hours, 48 hours now? We said two to three days. Three days is fine, but if you have some ambition and would like to tackle the task early, feel free to stop by my manor when you are finished here. Oh, okay. Um, th that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And she she gracefully walks past out the front door. Ta-ta! Ta <laughs> uh, I think I turn to Eris and say, what the hell is going on? You no. Know, oh, there it goes. I guess, I guess, I guess that's the NILF. Um, <laughs> so, let's go chat with the Baroness. Okay, I'll pause you there for a second. Tom, <laughs> you got a you got a tied up human in front of you. Now, so for the record, Tom's first impression is to leave the tied up human there, but I know he's Kyle. So instead <laughs> <laughs> Tom will walk up and like, I'm, I'm not struggling like I'm scared or anything. I'm just like this is where yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> uh, Tom will jump up and yank the thing out of his mouth and be like Oh, is this one of those human sex things? Oh, what's the deal? Okay, so actually, Kyle, before you yeah. explain anything, Blinky <laughs> was um, Blinky volunteered for this uh, because okay. the 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 person that you just saw get murdered in front of you, the one that got oh, home, I didn't say because I'm blindfolded. Well, that's okay. true. You're, well, you're gagged. You're gagged and tied up. Yeah, you uh, saw. You saw. There was splatter. Okay. It was. It was. It was visible. Um, because. Sharpshooter, but yeah. So this this acolyte, um, what he was working on was turning normal people into deities, right? Like transference of energy, some other mystical mumbo jumbo. And you were like, I kind of already do that. And he was like, Oh, come help me with this. And then you went to help him with it, and several people blackjacked you and tied you up, and then. You think that they were going to try to turn you into a deity, and you were, but but they didn't communicate all of that part stuff to you. Well, I, I, just, I, I, I do as a god's decree. So yeah. What happens if you become a god yourself? That's a that's a question. Anyway, then I do what the god's decree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, you got a goblin in front of you. Hmm. Hello there. We were, we were, what? what? <laughs> no, it's not going to happen now. Well, well I, I mean, he killed, killed him. him. I don't know. Bro, <laughs> right, this is yeah, a, yeah. a stimulating conversation. I'm super happy I I came in here. Uh, listen, uh, we're going to go uh, murder a baroness. You got a problem with that? Mm, no. no. All right, you are down. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. We do. 
Right. You're a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom will cut him down. What the fuck? You know, what? Okay. Everything is as it should be. Okay. You get, you get cut down. Uh, if you had starting gear or what have you, you can, you can collect that. It was, um, well, actually, it's, some of it is in Tom's bag. So, um, Dude, I'm like a hermit. I don't have anything valuable. Did you, take my, did you take my sling? <laughs> did you have one? Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, he probably took it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this is, this is all Blanky possesses. Tattered clothing, a winter blanket, a quarter staff, a sling, and definitely used leather armor. So, several of those things are in a blanket, or in a bag that Tom has over his shoulder. <laughs> mm. Alright, hold on. No, he probably doesn't have the quarter staff because it probably oh, yeah, fit in the bag. Too big. It's yeah, too yeah. big. It's too Unless big. It's a sling, you the sling it, and the leather armor. Bag, and then it's your, you're using it like a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting. Not actually, yeah. <laughs> can I, can I use my telekinesis to untie the 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 blanket on the on the stick? Are are you using the spell telekinesis? No, this is something. Oh, I have. you have the feet. He has the feet. Have the feet. Perfect. Yeah, you absolutely can do that. Yeah, so your bag unties and oh, some stuff. Damn it! <laughs> some stuff uh, starts flying out of it. Do you know how long it took me to tie that knot? Several seconds. Then I'll never get back. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk and pick up my stuff and leave everything. God leave damn everything it! Else. Yeah. But the blanket that he had everything wrapped in was also mine. So this is a little weird. Oh, sorry. I thought that you know you were a gimp or whatever. I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes the gods say that it's cold, and I need the blanket. Right. Well. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm kind of in the middle of a murder. I guess technically it's an assassination because I'm getting paid. Uh, you're welcome to join if you want. If you don't want, uh, then fuck off to wherever it weird-ass place you came from. Well, I can go with you. You're just, yeah, just going to... You're just going to... You're cool with the murder. All right, well, you know what? Go. Fuck it. What? Oh my god, shut up! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Got two fucking nerds in my group now. <laughs> Never shut up. All right, Tom okay. will start. <laughs> you probably walk out of the room and you see Pruitt has like a rope that he's having all the zombies hold on to. Oh like, my god, there's like, four the zombies now. They line up to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, <laughs> and that's so good. In the correct order. All right, great. So I'm just going to assume that that's what Pruitt has been doing. It's like yeah. decking the zombies correctly. Oh yeah, my god. Using this time. So we're going to pop back to... We're um, in the middle of a murder. A yeah, yeah. It's activity. an assassination! I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be inspecting zombies for a minute. Okay. Do the zombies so, have to take turns being the line leader? <laughs> Shortest to okay. uh, So let's pop Can over... Bob your zombies with my quarterstaff? Yeah. yeah. Um, let oh me, let me pop this group pop is stuck back over. This group is awful. <laughs> to uh, Eris and Sarah, who are upstairs in yeah, darkness getting shit done. Image. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, um, the the music stops, and the the Baroness um, like puts one finger at the very end and pushes down on what looks like a key on the piano. And uh, these double doors open, and um, you have company. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Can you see? You can't see that right now. I don't know why. Eris is in the darkness with me, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I think I'm going to turn to her and say, all right, listen. You're a much better assassin than I am, so I'm just going to deal with everyone. If you can get to her and just kill her, then we can leave. That's the strategy now. I don't remember our plan anymore. Yeah, listen, whatever it takes, turn invisible like, oh no, you can. Uh, I don't know, hit her from here. Just kill her while I deal with everybody else, alright? Wait, you really... Okay. Why not? Let's do it. Two. And these four come out, and one of them says, Rally behind me, men! And uh, there's like kind of a resounding gong sound, and it looks like the 
these four guards are bolstered in some meaningful way. Uh, roll initiative. Upstairs people. Okay. In the meantime, can I be invisible? Uh, you are in darkness, so you are invisible. Invisible. Invisible ish. No, oh, if you want to be invisible, you're going to have to cast the invisibility spell. Well, we couldn't have done that while we were listening to all these folks plotting. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll say you can cast invisibility. Yeah, that's fine. Um, why? There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. Oh, great. And Sarah, did you roll? You did. You did. You got a six. Very nice. I'm going to roll again so that I can give you. There we go. Your six. Cool. And at the end of every round of initiative, we will let the other people get closer to being in the same room as you. OK. So um, yeah, these guards. These guards actually don't rush in at you. They instead, this one goes over here. This one goes here. Goes here. I take that back. That's a double. So it looks like they're fanning out to prevent you from going past them. And this guy falls back to right there. Um, Eris, you're up. OK. So you um... did you say you cast invisibility? Mm -hmm. Okay, you are invisible. What do you do? Okay. Uh... Oh, hold on a second. What am I doing? Uh, hope this works. Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Why did that not work? I have to do it again. There we go. 20. OK, that's fine. She's playing piano. All right, charm person. Um, Jump on the other piano. Piano duel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wisdom saving. I feel like that's not going to work. Does it say what the saving throw is? For charm is person? Against, is it again? At the bottom. It's, yeah. It's, it's a, a wisdom 13. saving throw. Yeah, 13 wisdom saving throw. Who are you Who are you close enough to cast that on? 30 feet, well, no one. I could get closer. Oh, OK. I was reading it. I just oh, clicked okay. the wrong button. OK. But. All right. Yeah, this is a big room, isn't it? That's it is a big room. Yeah, it goes what you think is the length of the building. Okay. Grand Hall. A piano room. Mm -hmm. When one piano simply isn't loud enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get moving okay and and you know casting that spell will break your invisibility right i haven't casted the spell okay this uh, i was reading the spell the spell had a very specific purpose and it won't do many me any good in any of the locations i could be on this turn okay so Perfect. don't worry about that for now i won't okay so uh, then that's it for you, or you move? Well, that's what else? My move. Um, I guess I'll attack. This dude.
Okay. So you have advantage on the roll because you're invisible. Okay. So you will get sneak attack damage. Which dude did you say? The one on the right? Uh, I asked who this dude is. Oh, that's that looks like the the knights, like a knight commander sort of person, the one who's in charge, leader, captain of the guard, kind of deal. That's the one to attack. Okay, and you have a ta advantage on it. Okay, that's so that's a twenty-one. Yep. Um. Okay, but from there, you're still too far. You're still thirty-five feet away, so you'd have. How does that work if you have advantage oh. and disadvantage? They cancel each other out. So you would have to use a bonus action to move further with a dash action to be able to do that this turn. Well. Wait, you only move five feet. Or, sorry, five squares. What? Yeah, she's... She, oh, that's true. You only move five squares. You can go one more. Why does my speed say 25? Because you have dwarf stats still. Oh. You're a satyr right now. Is that going to be close? 5, 10, 15, 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. No, I mean, you yeah. can do it. All you have to do is use a bonus action and take the dash action. Right. Okay, why not? Okay. Um, except if I'm invisible, can I pass through threat range yeah, and it doesn't matter. They can't matter. attack. There, there's no opportunity attacks while you're invisible okay. unless they have blind sight, which they do not. There you go. Good. Okay. So now you can do doesn't have blind fighting. All right. So now I get to do this. Are we just going to assume that was the roll and that I got the advantage because... Yep. You know, go ahead and roll like... damage with Okey your sneak do. attack yep, because yep. you were invisible and had advantage. So 19 points of damage. Ooh, nice hit. Okay. Do it again. Okay. That'll also hit. And no sneak attack damage this time, but you get your hit. Okay. Another six. Cool. All right. Uh, that makes it the knight's turn. Uh, the knight turns and sees you. And... Um, no, -uh, I'm invisible. No, you're not greater invisible. Once you cast a spell or attack while invisible, invisibility mm, goes that's away. Right. Well, um, whatever. <laughs> so... He steps, over, he steps over here and attacks you with a greatsword twice. Uh oh. Does a 24 oh. and a 19 both hit? Oh no. Yep. Oh. That'll be 12 slashing and 10 slashing. So take 22 points of damage. Oh. Ouch. No. No. <laughs> uh, you are you you are a rogue and you uh have a reaction that you can use. Um, yeah. that, that, that'll that have damage from one of those attacks. It's a good idea. I, I forget what it's called. the 12. Hmm? Yeah, okay. So you take 16 total points of damage instead of Let 22. Let me reduce. Okay. So, so <laughs> what's my total again? What's my 16, math? 16 total, you are down, so you should be at 34. Uh, okay. Sorry, is that me? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all of her actions. Move, bonus, attack. Uh, Sarah, you are up. Four, five, six. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to uh, vortex warp this guy. Okay. We'll blink it. Con saving throw. Mm -hmm. I think he made it. Oh, God. Uh, silvery barbs. <laughs> oh, reroll. Okay, one sec. He did not make it. <laughs> nice. God, that spell is so broken. <laughs> it really, it really, really is. is. Who would you like to give your advantage to? Uh, how about Naressa? Okay. Woo. Uh, so where are you? <laughs> where are you vortex warping him? I, uh, to right below me, right here. There you go. 
He is Great. he is vortex warped to that location. The guards look confused and nervous. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to say uh uh oh gosh, what do I say? Uh, I'm gonna shout out with a bonus action. Um. Baroness, I'm coming for your throne. You knew that Tapper was in town. Kill her, my assassin, and give uh, it bardic inspiration to uh, Naressa. Okay, so you have bardic inspiration. You have inspiration. You are you are set set up beautifully. Uh, go ahead and make a performance roll for your Tapper impersonation. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> like it. I got it. Wow. Oh, snap. I got to try. I got to try. Completely convinced. A tour de force. That is Calvin's Tapper. The, you the, you mastered it. The Tony's coming, baby. The Tony's That's coming. That's right. That is right. <laughs> wow. Guys, I'm riding a high from Silvery Barb's working right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was rad. Uh. Yeah, beautifully done. All right, that's your action, bonus action, move, reaction, all of them. So good job using every action in one turn. Yeah. Um, and it's the guard's turn. They... Okay. Yep. They can't see you. Um, but they are doing their job. Um... This one is one, two, three is in the darkness. So this guy is gonna one, two, four, five, six, seven. He moves up here, here. Um, and these other guards are just like standing, holding their weapons out, waiting to be able to see some sort of enemy. You've got the three turns left on the darkness. And that's the end of that initiative round, which means the party is getting closer to where you are. Um, so, I know Linky said he was investigating zombies. Are the zombies and Pruitt moving toward the stairs? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, probably next round, at the end of the next round, Pruitt and the zombies will get there, followed close behind by Tom and Blinky. Well, Tom can, actually, Tom can actually move at a 120 feet. Oh, that's right. Ranger nonsense. Well, no, uh, uh, very, Rebecca. very fast, Rebecca. Yeah, Re Rebecca. Yeah. Okay. Is is Tom riding Rebecca? Yeah. If there's fighting upstairs, he's like, oh, oh yeah. shit. You you heard the gong. You heard all the stuff. So, right, so... We'll, we'll say Tom can Tom can make it. Uh, let me just let me just move Tom up now, and we'll say Blinky and the zomb zombies and Pruitt get there next turn. That's fair. Okay. Um. So let's just do this. Boop. And then oh, also, the hell am you, I? I'm I'm working on it. I gotta I gotta move you from the. Whoa! What was that? That was cool. Oh, what is um, happening? What's happening is Bobby's misclicking. All uh, right. Well, stop it. GM info overlayer. Well, why on? Okay. Not I'm that. the GM. I'm Not the GM that. now. Yeah. Apparently, it won't let me switch the layer. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to do it this way. Did that work? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay. So, yeah, you are there. Rebecca is also there. All right. Um, I'll roll into it. You want me to roll into initiative? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Okay. So, actually, you'll go before the guards go. Um, but for the time being, actually, Eris and the Baroness and Tom should all be going. But that's okay. Tom, you can go first, and we'll let the others catch up as needed. Cool. This is the Baroness back here. Way back there. That is the Baroness. Awesome. I'm a shooter. Okay. And Rebecca and... Rebecca is going to assist me. Her action is okay. going to be to assist me. So I'm going to sharpshooter the Baroness with advantage. Okay. Sharpshooter the Baroness with advantage. It's a 17 Spanning. hit. It does not. Spanning. It does Spanning not. Forehead. Oof. It does not. Damn. All right. I'll take another shot. Okay. It's an 18 hit. An 18 does hit. Sweet. I'll, I'll mark her as my favorite foe. So, okay. so she um, takes 22 points of damage. And actually, okay. you know what? Because Tom's a spiteful little fucker, 
uh, he will also Doing use... Doing the goblin thing? Yeah. He'll do All another right. six points of damage to her. How much damage did you do total? So I did uh, 28 points of damage, I believe. 28 points of damage. Beautifully done. No, 29 points of damage. Sorry. 29 points of damage. Okay. One second. Yeah, that it looks like that she did not feel very good about that. Good. Um, something you notice even from that distance, I think only Tom has probably like got clean eyes on her right now. The arrow like takes her in the shoulder and she moves about this much. Right? Like, and you know you hit you hit hard. And it doesn't look like it looks like it went in and she didn't react to it the way most people would react to getting an arrow shot at them with that amount of force. Well, Tom doesn't know about the whole daughter mother daughter relationship thing. Steve's doing this action. <laughs> Tom's actually making a similar reaction because that was a that was a clean hit. That was a solid it was shot. An incredibly clean hit. You know, it's different than the last time this happened because last time you did this and you had like the incredible god shot and it did nothing. And this looks like it did something, but it also doesn't look like it did as much as it should have done. Um well, so, yeah. She can eat glass. Uh, uh, Steve, yeah. your Fury of the Small is 7 now, right? Yeah, because you're level 7. Oh, yeah, so 30 points of damage. 30 points of damage, okay. So 15 points of damage, very cool. Thank you uh, for pointing excellent. that out. Yeah, good yeah. good catch, sir. So actually, wait, wait, i got to fix that. There we go. Ooh, not that much, okay. Cool. Um, so that's Tom's action, You ha and you used a move... I have a bonus uh, oh, action. Yeah, you and, have a bonus action. No, nah, but I, 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 t I instructed Rebecca to help me. Uh, oh, and you favor foe. Yeah. Or no, you didn't. Did you favor foe? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it doesn't take a bonus action to have Rebecca do the aid action. It's If I have Very her cool. not take an action, she can do a... Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, cool. I imagine um, her, she's fanning your forehead with her wings. Right. <laughs> or actually, she's uh, a goblin... Uh, uh, thing, so she's probably screeching in my ear at top volume. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I know what I'm doing! <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine anything like, goblin related, even like the positive stuff, is really bad. It's just super obnoxious. Um, I love okay. it. Uh, so that makes it Eris's turn. Eris, you are up. I'm an attacker too. I should probably move okay. a little. Yeah, you are a little further away, but yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, favorite foe does not take an action. Neither does Fury of the Small. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's not like Hunter's Mark anymore. You have to maintain concentration on it like a spell, but you don't. Um, but it doesn't take an action to cast like the spell. Uh, it does not require it action as a spell, actually. It's just that uh, I can only do it a certain number of times. I would have sworn that the favorite foe, you have to hold concentration on it, but I could be wrong. Let me go back and look at it again. Oh, yeah, you do. You're right. You're right. You're totally right. Okay, cool. I thought so. All right. Um, I missed. You um... did miss. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, you have advantage, so you didn't miss. Oh, yeah. Remember, he, got, he gave That's you right. bardic inspiration I and know. advantage. That's amazing. So uh, go ahead and roll your attack damage and sneak attack damage. Uh, 19. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, so the dagger, your dagger, the first dagger hits, and uh, it looks like it did the full amount of damage. She still doesn't re react like a, a, in a really remarkable way. But she looks considerably more frustrated. She, she, it's almost derision. She looks down, and then she looks back up at you. And um, she says, Weren't you supposed to be my intern? Different Seder. And that was uh, Yeah, and you have, a second, you have a second attack if you want to take it. I'm going to blow my inspiration. <laughs> Oh, well, it's Bardic Inspiration, so you can use it after you make the attack. Oh, I forgot I had Bardic. I was just going to use my Inspiration Inspiration. Oh, but, okay. But if I have Bardic, you're right. I should just use that first. Yeah. So I'm not going to use my Inspiration. I'm just going to throw another dagger. 
That'll hit. So go ahead and roll damage. Six. Nice. All right. Is this broken? I have rolled a six every single time. <laughs> um, it's a d4. You rolled a two. I mean, yeah, it's a d4. That's true. Um, okay. Um, that's interesting, though. Is your dex not 20? Eighteen, I guess. Okay. I don't know if we've updated this character <clears throat> sheet, honestly. A lot of things look off to me, but it is what it is. Yeah. We're good enough. I feel like your dex at level seven would be whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Um yeah. So that makes it the Baroness's turn. Wait, wait, did you do all your actions? You moved, you did an attack, you have a bonus action. You doing the bonus action anything? Bonus action. Um... Nah, I'm okay. Okay. Um, the Baroness um, kind of, she stands up from the piano and brushes the arrow and the dagger out of her. Actually, the dagger disappears because it's a magic dagger. And she moves over to you. Five, ten, fifteen. And she's got kind of like a sweeping grace to her as she comes at you. Um, and she's not floating or levitating or anything like that. But there's just like a fluidity to it that feels uh, unnatural. And then she slashes you with gaudily decorated claws. Does a fifteen hit you? According to my current stats, it does. That does not seem right. Right? Hmm. Leather armor. No, studded leather armor. What is studded leather armor? 12 or, or 12. 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Yeah. So that should miss. Okay. Um, what is hap What happened to this character sheet? That is a great question. I do not know. Okay. I have I'm not edited. My... I have not edited that character sheet. I haven't edited the character sheet. I we also. <laughs> I also have not edited the character sheet. It was I. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, for me, when I look at your character sheet, it says your it says your it says your armor class is eight. Yeah, that's what mine says too. That's not no possible. Sense. I know. But I lit you know I didn't change it because I don't even change my character sheet when I level up. I, I don't touch this thing. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going gonna, gonna to make the changes that I suspect are accurate. There we go. You have a 16 AC. You actually should have a 17 AC. Whatever. We will figure it out. No, no, no. That's right. You had leather armor, not studded leather armor. So that's, that's fine. You have a 16 AC. Um, cool. It's fixed. Uh, she missed. And she's going to... Try it again. That'll also miss. Wow. Way to fail. Uh, she uses a legendary action to do it again. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh, that looks like it hit. Cool. So that is six Wait. points of. That would be six points of slashing damage, except... but she's going to forgo doing damage. Except what? Silvery barb! <laughs> God damn it! Okay, she's gonna try. She's gonna try again. Fourteen. She missed. It. Congrats! Right. What a spell! Man, I'm not even running this spell. game, and I hate that spell. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spell. It's horrible. Okay, uh, that makes it the guard's turn. Does that, that mean Sarah's now has advantage? <laughs> no, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give myself advantage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and um, and these guards are torn. Hey Bob, can so you one... can you explain the gaudily decorated claws? What do they look like? It looks like she had her nails done really finely, but they're like extended out like another inch beyond. Like they're they're almost unusable, right? Like or they look like they should be unusable. In my head, I'm thinking about because we've been re reading Wheel of Time. It's like the Seanchen have the like two claws that are really long to like signal signify their status. <laughs> this is like all of her claws are like that. Um, all of her nails are like that. Just like beautifully bedazzled, lots of blood reds and golds. Nah, nah, nah. This and, ain't here. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 
And actually, they're just going to try to get all the way. So they're just going to take a double move. And this guy is going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then do the same thing. So two guards get up in your face, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, damn. OK. Um, and so this guard is going to take a swing. OK. Um, oh, damn, I forgot about an important thing. OK, that's fine. That was Bobby error in your favor. And they try to stab you with a spear. Boop. Oh, there you go. Take four points of piercing damage as this guard comes up and stabs you in the back with a spear. It's not that kind of bank error in your favor, Steve. Uh, who is that to? To Eris. Dang. Take that four points of damage. One, two, three, four, five. Damn. Okay. There fine. really are a lot of pianos in this room. There really are. Thank you, Dungeon Alchemist. Anyway. All right. So you took your four points of damage. So all the guards. Have... Okay. These two guards are going to take a stab at. Hi. Yep. Take a stab at uh, Tom. Oh, I thought they One... double moved. Oh, you're right. They they did both double move. Never mind. That's right. Okay. Let's get, scratch that. So the knight gets to go. The knight takes a blind attack at Sereth. Uh, actually, takes two. One and two. Does a 16 hit your AC, Sereth? Ooh, that is my AC. Okay. So hang so on. Hang on. I got to roll, roll a thing. Roll a d20. Yep. Roll a five. Uh, roll a five. You know you want to. Uh, uh, d20. Sorry, uh, that's not 12. a five. Okay, so 11 slashing damage and one of your illusions goes away. So you've got two left in the darkness, right? Yep. Okay. And you've got two more turns of having them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that makes it your turn. Great. Um, I'm going to, um, yeah. Okay, question. Okay, answer. Now that I switched back to dual wielder, if I do cast Booming Blade, Mm-hmm. Can I then bonus action attack with my other weapon? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, great. I'm going to uh, Booming Blade with uh, St. Agni. Okay. Make your attack with advantage. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see if Sarah rolls better today. <sighs> that is going to uh, miss. Really? That's he is wearing a nice suit of armor. Fortunate. All right. Well, then I'm going to bonus action attack with um, my long sword. Okay. Does the blade blade thing still happen if he doesn't hit? No, he no, needs to hit. I don't think so. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right. I don't see... My long sword on here. Hmm. Uh, just do another. Just do another attack with Saint Agni's Wrath, and we'll take off one. That'll be fine. I don't okay, see it great. on there either. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not today. Um, okay. That that was your action. Your bonus mm -hmm. action. Uh, you moving? <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, Tom, you are up. Bloody hell! Uh, <laughs> Tom's gonna go downstairs. <laughs> okay, go downstairs. 
So All right, let me move you back to the other other page. Uh, how do I do this? Okay. Oh, not like that. Let's just do this. Uh, I should say he'll. Oh, he has sharpshooter, which does oh, not right, does right, not yeah. allow him to okay. attack in melee. Right. That's not what okay. sharpshooter okay. is. Sharpshooter is only range. Yeah. Right. Okay, so yeah, but that's okay because he can still attack like anybody in cover and not worry about it. So he's gonna run in the stairs. Mm -hmm. and he's gonna actually he'll run like because you can. I forgot you can move and then shoot and then move. So he'll yeah. move here. He'll he'll use his bonus action. The uh, what the hell is it called? Goblin shit. Uh, this one. So okay. He'll, he'll and disengage. We'll mm -hmm. And he'll go here and then he'll uh, shoot this guy. Okay. The guy on the right, he's just going to shoot him. All right. That hits, and that guy explodes. <clears throat> and then second shot for the other guy. And that guy is not your favorite foe, right? He is, no, I'm not going to favorite foe him. Okay. So that guy is in a bad way, but is still standing. And then and Tom will yeah. continue running down the stairs. Okay. 5, 10, 15, so 20, 25. So he's, at, he's literally at the very bottom of the stairs. So we'll leave you on this map for the time being, but if you keep going downstairs, I'll move you to the other. Sure. And then as a bonus action, Rebecca is going to fly over here. Okay. Rebecca's... No. Rebecca's going to hopefully fuck that guy up. AC 15. Uh, yeah, that'll hit him. Sweet. For seven slashing. And he dies. It's fucking sweet. Right, so she was she was five. And I just have a black. 15. I just have a black screen. No. Oh wait, you know what? She's not going to fly over there. She's going to stay. If you, if no, you have a black screen, Kyle, you might have to reload roll twenty. Oh, and that's actually now that I look at it, Tom is the top of the initiative. So let me let me fix that. Pruitt, you can go ahead and Blinky, you can roll into initiative now. Let me just. Oh, Hold on. I might have to reload because I just have a black screen. Of yeah, you'll, you'll have to reload roll 20. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Okay. It's because it's. Oh, no, no, no. You're good. You're just not on the map yet. Hold on. No, but it's like nothing. It's not showing me anything. You wouldn't You wouldn't see anything oh. yet because I, oh. I moved all of the players to the new map, but you don't have a character on the new map. So you're you're not. That's not you messing up. That's just. Oh, you should, okay. How about. Can you see stuff now? No. Go down to the bottom of the map. South. Yeah, it's all blacky. Oh, hold on. I he doesn't have vision. Uh, how do I do that again? Wait, you should you should be able to see everything. Um, I mean, I saw the last the last map just fine. Token does not have vision enabled. Um, hold on. I just have to go into your details. I have to go in and say enable vision on. Emits light. Sure. Great. Hey, there we go. Um, you should see more than this in the room, though. It looks like you can only see what's immediately around you. Is that right? Uh, I can see immediately around me, and then like, and then a bunch of stuff, and then a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I see the stuff to the left. You can see, but that's still wrong somehow. Um, I don't want to limit field of vision. Oh goodness, how about now? Oh, so oh, I, I think I can't see I can't see through the darkness that Austin is casting. Maybe no, it's it shouldn't be that because you're not in the darkness. I like wait when I look from everyone else's. Oh, that's weird. Rebecca also has that issue, and Pruitt does too. Pruitt, can you see anything? Oh, uh, what do I want to do? How do I fix this? Do do do. Easily convert your settings. No, I don't want to do that. Dynamic oh, light. I do as I'm walking up the stairs, and, and I see, see Tom the oh, goblin. Just try this. This is dumb, but if it works, it works. Uh, you that's see every door. Okay, so <laughs> you Blinky is. We're just gonna say for some reason because of magic or some nonsense, Blinky is emitting bright light right now. Deal with it. <laughs> That's how I had to solve it. I had to solve it by making Blinky emit 120 feet of bright light. Um, you're welcome. There you go. Cool. We you, fixed it. As I, can. As I meet it's Tom now. in the stairs, in, in Goblin, I say to you, 
Maggie did it said that he'll get me out of this situation, but I'm not sure about you. <laughs> and and Tom will say, finally, somebody finally speaks a civilized language. <laughs> I saw that joke from Casey. <laughs> and then I stole that line from Braveheart, so. Yeah. We stealing jokes. Stealing jokes. All right. I do appreciate that uh, you got you Googled the goblin god. I did good. I absolutely did. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Respect. That was a nice I touch. Know, I, right, and I feel like I got close. <laughs> Casey, remind me to tell you when we're done playing about how I stole your um, your thing of the the bird, the Aarakocra speaking uh, with a very different voice for yes. one of my home games. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. I'm excited to hear that story. Um, Blinky, you can roll initiative two. That was the best joke of that campaign. <laughs> it really was. I was so funny. Oh my yeah, god! You, you had the whole party like rolling in laughter. Uh, Pruitt, I got your initiative. Blinky, there we go. Initiative 18 plus one. Descending. Tom's already gone. That makes it Eris's turn. Okay, then. She's right next to you, as are these guards. Right. Um... Do I have that fancy disengage thing? I can do the fancy disengage thing. You can do a fancy disengage thing as a bonus action. So that's 5, 10, 15. Zombies. Uh, are you who are you attacking Oops. with your I'm advantage that you've got? The Baroness. All right, go ahead and make your attack roll with advantage. Get her. Yes. Me rolling the zombies into initiative. That will Woo! hit. Um, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So, ooh, you go before, girl, you damn. Go before the Baroness, I don't know why it does that, uh, but that's fine. Um, so twenty-three points of damage. Wow, respectable Ma magic weapon damage too. <laughs> magic weapon damage too. That's right. Twenty-three. Twenty-three from that number is this other number. There we go. Great. Um, and that will also hit, so you can roll some more damage for seven more. Woof. Woof. Yeah. Um, all right. And then, um, and I already Don't had... twos on those D farms. <laughs> so the Baroness goes, the Baroness, um, you, you're watching her. And as you're watching her, it looks like, like. The wounds that you just created seal up as she's approaching you. Mm. And she's going to take that. Um, first. Set her on fire. Oh, that's going to miss. And second. Ooh, there you go. Does, does she break a nail? Hit? Sure does. <laughs> sure. One of, one of her pinky claw on her left hand snaps with that first attack. Ha! Uh, um, she goes into a rage. She gets three more attacks per round. No, no. Son of a um, bitch. All right. So you take seven points. Oh, sorry. You don't take seven points of damage. She grapples you. And then she uses a legendary action with advantage. Does a 19 hit you? Okay. Yeah. You take six points of necrotic damage, and your maximum HP lowers by six. And you see reduce the it, essence. Reduce it. You see the essence from the attack, like she just, she bites you and drains your uh, vital essence and looks like she regains some of her strength. No. Reduce it. Okay. So she doesn't get to do that? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hell how, are no. You how are you preventing that? He's pleading to the DM yeah. being the life. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, let's silvery barbs it. Okay. Um, you're silvery barbsing the bite. Um, can I do that? Yeah, sure. Does a 20 hit? Uh, yeah. Say no. Okay. Oh, damn it. That was, not, that was not better. Yeah, that was, that was not better. Um, um, so, okay. so 
and you use your reaction to do that, so you can't use your reaction to take half damage, so that is exactly what happens. So, um, so you can lower your max HP to 44 and take six points of damage as she drains your life force. Um, Sucks. Yeah, and that makes it, so that's most uh, and that makes it Blinky's turn. I don't know, Blinky. Okay. Um... Jump in here. Jump in this darkness. I'm going to... I'm just going to meander over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Thirty, and then I mean, I don't, I don't really know what's happening. I was told that we're gonna kill the Baroness. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm just gonna do a a, a level one magic missile at the Baroness. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage for your level one magic missile. That doesn't look oh. right. Okay, that's not right. Nope. Well, that's for I guess I guess it's doing it where I got to roll each one individually. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So roll two more of those, I guess. It's three for level one, right? Yeah. Okay. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Four points of damage. Very nice. Yeah, she doesn't look like that felt very good. Out of the math of this, I just like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know what. Some. Yeah. Some bullshit. All right. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, all right, so that's your action. You've got a move and a bonus. Oh, no, you moved up already. I moved. Um, oh, I you moved. got a bonus? Um, I'm good. Okay. Prove it. I'll just. Yeah. All right. Prove it. Five, 20, 25, 30. He's going to generally step over these bodies. Okay. So it's not uh, damage them for later use, sure. Yeah. And then he's, uh, as, a, as a bonus action, he will order his zombies uh, to, these are like guards up here, uh -huh. to, to make their way over here and chew on them. Okay. And the zombies uh, go next, so... Um... And then that's my a bonus and a move. Action. Yeah, an action. Yeah. Ooh, wait, what's the range on this thing? Okay. Oh, too far. Okay, I can't do that. Then. Uh, I'll, I'll use a magic missile on the Baroness, too. Okay, level one? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead and roll your damage. Oops, I forgot. I can't do it that way. I have to do it this way. There we go. 12. Very nice. Exactly, exactly the same, same amount. amount. Exactly the same amount. <laughs> so, um, Pruitt, as your third magic missile, like the blink, 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 and the arcane energy, um, like coalesces and forces its way into her. You see her eyes flash red, and um, horrendous bat wings like erupt out of her back, and like an, a wave of necrotic energy flies out from where she was. Does, um, does Pantera start to play in the background? And Pantera, and Pantera <laughs> starts to play in the background. Um, and I'm gonna need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Everyone, but if everyone, 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 everyone except for Tom. Who is downstairs? I mean, I'm pretty far away. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you, yeah. Check, can you check that range one more time? Yeah, I checked <laughs> it. You, you, you got it. Everyone okay, who can on. see it, uh, which actually, I take that back. I take that back. Sorry. Tom, you are safe. Blinky, you are in a zone of darkness that you cannot see through, so you are safe. I Sarah, can. sorry, you can see through your darkness. You, you can suck it up. So Sarah, Pruitt, and Eris can make me wisdom saving throws. And Wait, Rebecca Blinky can see through my darkness? No, and Blinky has really blind weird. sight to 10 feet in your darkness. He can't see through it. Uh, <sighs> Blinky can't see very well at all. Anyway. What, what's right. the saving throw, Bob? 
It is a wisdom saving throw. Technically, Rebecca Wherever. cannot see the Baroness because there's a zone of darkness in between her and... That's what I said. Rebecca's, Rebecca's fine. Oh, okay. Great. No, it's, it's a... Ooh, Rebecca. Oh, Gruitt's good. Uh, that's good. Bat. that's my giant bat. bat. <laughs> you ride a giant bat. I do ride a giant I'm gonna bat. Use my, I'm going to yeah. use my inspiration on this. Okay, go ahead and use your inspiration. Uh, I'll be five minutes. Oh, okay. 12. Austin, you're saving throws tonight, man. It's just... Okay. I know. Um... Austin, Sarah is the frightened. DC 12? No. <laughs> um, was it 11? So, it was not. So yeah, this just Nine. seeing this happen, like you know what you <laughs> you know what happens, Sarah, is you see this happen, and for you it feels different. For you, what you see is actually like an old friend of yours that used to inhabit your body. And you see their face kind of like erupt out of her face as this necrotic energy wave comes out, and you hear the in your inside your skull. Um, There's as no way this occur, um, and you are frightened, and you are going to use a reaction. Do you have a reaction to use? Uh, uh no, I don't. Not until my turn. Okay, so uh, you are going to use your next action. Uh, on your next turn, you're going to use a move action to move as far away from her as possible. Okay. And... Oh, this is the fear spell. Gotcha. That makes it. So Pruitt did his thing. Zombies get to go. Uh, zombies are all moving <laughs> towards people. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Zombies don't move more than 25 feet. No. I can't imagine they do. I'm just I'm gonna put them here because that's that's fine. They've got to all be in a nice little row though. So hold on. There we go. There. Okay. We're following the, the leader, the leader, <laughs> the leader. We're following the leader wherever he may go. And the knight is still in the darkness. Is going to take two more blind attacks at Sarath. One and two. Oh my god. This yeah, guy. that's what I'm talking about, except that he's in darkness, so he's got disadvantage, so they both miss. Okay. Sarah, you're that's up. Right. <clears throat> okay. I guess I'm gonna use my action to run. Okay. You're gonna well you can use your move to run. You're you, you don't have to use your bonus action or your action to run, but you can't target her this turn. You can target anyone else you want though. Four, five, six. Um. Sorry, 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 Blinky. I just, uh, I put you in the worst possible position. Um, I am going to cast. Hang on, hang on. What? what? Hanging. Meteor swarm. Before I before I move, can I cast heroism on myself? Sure. Uh, making me immune to being frightened and <laughs> is that allowed? I love that you have that spell. Yeah, of course. I think yeah. because you have the spell heroism and because you thought to use it immediately on your turn, I'm going to say you make it this far before casting it because it's the impulse is strong for you to run um but you but as you're like just as you're moving away you're like ah wait what am i doing and then you're immune to fear so whatever i just yeah, imagine sure. sarah the spell is just sarah like talking himself up yeah you know totally. get your head in the game you've got this the thing that i will Magpie say and does... captain sacrifice themselves for me <laughs> the thing that i will say does suck about this is that it's a concentration spell which That's means true. your darkness is wait darkness <laughs> goes bye bye yeah um okay so no darkness but you give yourself um how I many temp myself, hp uh let's see let's see let's see sorry equal to uh, a spellcasting modifier so five probably oh wait spellcasting modifier. no i got a low spellcasting modifier oh I'm so mad. Um, uh, my my charisma. Oh, it's yeah, it's three. Okay, 
So you get three temp HP, and you are immune to fear. Great, I'll take it. Um, cool. Very, very cool. Um, I think I look at Blinky, and I say, Oh, shit, you're new. Um, <laughs> welcome to the party. And I give you <laughs> bardic inspiration. I, I love that this is the assumption that, like, you turn this around and there's another yeah. murder hobo in the room, and you're like, oh, yeah, you're obviously on our team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And I was naked like two minutes ago. <laughs> Less yeah. than two dude, minutes ago. Dude, a dude in robes. But but he did see him throw magic missiles at the thing from next to him in the darkness. So, it's true. You know. Real recognize real, I guess. That's right. I mean, the Bob one said that we were assassinating some lady, and that seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Um, the god didn't tell me that I couldn't do it. Yeah, I think that's my turn. Okay, that's your turn. Tom, you're up. You're at the bottom of the stairs. Tom is going to run up and hop on Rebecca. Okay, you run up and hop on Rebecca, and as you start flying in that direction, you notice that the Baroness no now looks like, uh, if you imagined like an enraged monster demon version of the Baroness. That's kind of what she looks like. Well, that's the claws that she had, the gaudy nails, are now like six inch thick, eight inch long, like just horrible monster claws attached except to her left horrible pinky. monster arms, except for her left pinky, which is broken off. Yep. Well, um, that's that's uh that's unfortunate. 10, 15, so Tom's up here with mm -hmm. he's on Rebecca. He's flying like diagonal. Like I don't know how tall the ceilings are here. I imagine they're a little bit taller. But oh, this room is actually dark now. Oh, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Oh, like for some reason I can't see shit. Whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, he just disappeared. Oh, he's he. Oh, he's under Rebecca. Yeah. So the Baroness is over here, though, right? I can see her. The Baroness is yeah over here, and you can see her. That's fine. All right. Great. Uh, I'm going to have Rebecca aid me, and I'm going to sharpshoot the Baroness with silver arrows. Okay. I've got three silver arrows left. I have three silver arrows left. So we're gonna. Tom's going to go hard. Bet big, win big. Okay. 20, does a 22 hit? A 22 does hit. For 19 points nice. of damage? For 19 points of damage. And the silver arrow just plunks right into her arm. And very much the same as before, Fuck. because silver arrows are not magical arrows. It looks like it did less damage than it would have otherwise, but still quite a lot of damage. All right. Well, uh, he'll just sharpshoot with a regular ass arrow. Then. Okay. Uh, 14 misses, right? 14 misses. All right. He doesn't have bardic inspiration right now. Okay. Yes. Oh, what a B. He was gone. I couldn't give it to him. You're not wrong. I know. All right. Um, so that's Tom. Do this, and I find it hilarious. Okay, it doesn't matter. What doesn't matter? Every time I cast a sorcerer spell, you can oh. choose the wild magic. Oh, I got you. That's right. We're we're gonna recreate the nonsense wild magic thing again. Um, okay. So Tom is gone. Uh, it is Eris's turn. It put them. It put them out of order. There we go. Oh. Wait, you're wild magic. He is wild magic. Can I? The best version of wild magic I've ever seen is where every time you do it and you don't surge, it bumps up a number. So it's it's I do like kind of love that. stacks. It gets it's so fun. Well, what's the... But, uh, I was just... That is fun. Do whatever you want, I mean, but it's look. very cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, look, look I, my, my guy, guy is, is... I want him as chaotic, chaotic as possible. So God if you want to build it up, <laughs> then let's build it up and what, get fun. Wait, the Wild Magic Surge is a D100, isn't it? No, no, no. Only if you... Only if you... Oh, only if it. you roll a 1. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So when I did it in a campaign with my nephews, I made it to where every time that it didn't happen, the number went up. So the next time it would be one or two. 
and then I the see. next time it would be one, two, or three. Uh, okay. So the, the well, threshold goes threshold. up. Threshold. I, I I like that. It's canon now. We're doing it. <laughs> Perfect. Um, it's the best way to do it. Okay, so that makes it uh, Eris's turn. Eris, I just, um, I just want to mark are, a 2.0 experience. So, so you are presently still grappled. Oh, I forgot I was grappled. Okay. Yeah. So right, 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 right. Um, um, are you trying to escape the grapple? Are you doing something else? Head butter. Yeah. Um, it's an action to escape the grapple. It is. Let's just stab then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going for the stab. That'll hit. You don't have advantage, right? Mm, no. Okay. Wait, do grappled characters have disadvantage on attacks? I just want to check. No, people have advantage to attack them, I believe. Okay, so you do six points of damage with your... It's a non-magical dagger, right? Can I just use one of my bandolier you, you wink out the bandolier daggers and daggers. stab and then they vanish i don't know if it works that way that this was not a magic item that i created it was not a magic item i created either i just pulled that out of a book all right we'll say sure you can do that why not that's weird but fine well you should just be glad that i'm rolling the normal dagger damage and not the bandolier damage for it well you could I feel like that's fair. I feel like if you pull a bandolier out and stab with it, it could, if it deals just normal dagger damage. Yeah. Sure. That seems, it seems fun. Yeah, let's, no, I like it. I like it. I think it works. And that will miss. You break um, a nail. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you break a dagger, but it disappears, so it doesn't matter. Um, so you've got a bonus action and a move. Um, you just... But I can't move because I'm grappled. I mean, the only way you could move is if you had something like Misty Step. <laughs> which I don't know if you do. No. Yeah, some sort okay. of teleport. Um, okay. No, I can't move. So, so, good enough. Okay, good enough. So that makes it the guards' turn. <laughs> the guards uh, see that you are well in hand and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and this one attacks this horrible shambling. These guards are pretty chill about the fact that their their boss is a monster creature. <laughs> they are. They yeah, that misses. This one's gonna come down as well. Um they are pretty chill about it. Uh okay. No one can't do that. Uh so the Baroness. You're grappled, so she's going to bite you again. Uh, does a 23 hit? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Didn't she we'll just, just bite you? She yeah. did just bite her. Fuck. So that's going to be uh, 6 piercing plus 8 necrotic damage. Um, so, and so the eight necro so the eight necrotic damage uh, lowers your maximum HP by eight, and you see that r sustenance go into the baroness. And that also means that I'm down fourteen. Not yeah. if you have it. Yeah, right. And you're this time we'll do it the smart way. You're you're looking and... at it backwards. You need to think about it on the opposite. You're not down fourteen. You're up fourteen. And it means the same the thing, way? but it sounds better if you say it that way. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uncanny dodge. Uh, okay, so you're going to take half damage from the second attack, or from yeah. the bite. So so you'll take three piercing and four necrotic. So you actually only your max HP only goes down. Sorry. So you're only down 10 total because you 10 can do that. 10 total and max HP is down... Your max HP is down 10 total and your total okay. damage went oh. from 14 to 7. So you can put yourself up another 7 HP. Still not great, but uh, but yeah, you know. And then she's going to claw you with advantage. That'll hit. So uh, you take 7 points of slashing damage. Rough! Yeah.
and then um then she yeah so you're looking at her and then her eyes like this horrible monster um she her eyes like flash just looking directly at you and you feel uh, a certain kind of way go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw a certain kind of way yeah having a real fun time here yeah perfect eris you feel like this is all backwards everything about the situation is totally wrong the baroness this beautiful woman who was going to be your employer who you were going to be an intern for who you were going to steal from but but you would never do that to her now because she is such a beautiful kind-hearted magnanimous soul you don't want to kill her you want to help her kill all of the other people in this room so that that she will share her riches with you whatever she deign, deigns to give you um freely right like you think you think actually siding with Sarah and these other schnubs bad call bad call um you hear in the very 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 tippy top back of your noggin a little voice that says well, that's not right um but the foreground is all murder hobo the murder hobos and yeah well i told Blinky, you that you are up all right she doesn't let go of you though of course she does. She's a beautiful, wonderful person. Why would she hold me? We live on this side of the zombie wall. Damn. Fine. And then I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom. Ooh. Wither Good spell. What does Wither and Bloom do? Uh, do you want me to post it? Yeah, sure. I don't remember that one. I think Casey has that too, maybe? Yeah, he does. It's super good. What? Why is it not? I don't know. Maybe because you're using the Beyond 20 thing or something. Hold on. I'll just I'll just Google it if it didn't. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, okay, so... What is the area that you are designating? Uh, it's going to be around the Baroness and Grace's character. Okay. So you're, and you have to target both of them? Uh, well, I guess it's a, a sphere centered on a point within range. So the point will be just the, the, her gauntlets or whatever. Okay. So she, she makes a con saving throw. Correct. Uh, there's a 13 that probably fails. Uh, so go ahead and roll 2d6 necrotic damage. It, it rolled already. Oh, okay. Hold on. Four necrotic damage. It looks like um, it did something, but it doesn't look like it was super effective. And um, uh, so, so each creature of your choice. And is Eris having to make that save too, or no? No, no so Eris gets, gets to, to, if she would like, like get to spend a hit die. die. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. All right, go ahead and spend a hit die, Iris. Very cool. All That's right. a good spell. Actually, you can regain a number of hit points. Yeah. Plus, plus, I'm assuming it means plus my spellcasting? Spell yeah, your spellcasting ability modifier. So it would be plus six to her hit die. Oh. Whoa. Your spellcasting modifier is plus six? Yeah. That's a sp I think that might be your spell attack, not your... Modifier. Your, uh, your modifier is your stat. Oh, my, sorry, my modifier is plus three. Okay, sorry. so you get nine hit points back. I was going to say plus six. Holy That's shit. Blink yeah, is like you spitting fire. I didn't give him my 22. Charisma is, my charisma is very high, but it's not that high. Okay. Uh, so 22. Your holy hell. You got a move and a bonus? Thanks, so I did my move. You last. I did my move. I did my action. I am going to do a bonus action. Okay. Um, hold on, let me make sure I'm reading it correctly before I... Uh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Yeah, yeah I can do it as a bonus action. Oh, could you roll uh, a d20, Kyle? Oh, oh, yeah, I can. Perfect. Absolutely can. All right, so you're still here. Um, so, so I'm going to use my telekinesis. 
which is my telekinesis is basically an invisible mage hand that can shove. Yep. Um, I'm going to shove this guard. Okay. Uh, and they get a save for that or no? Oh, uh, I think it's just using the... Yeah, I would imagine they do. All right, I'll just, I'll just make it a con save. And they fail, and they get pushed five feet back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and you got to move. You moving? I moved already. Okay. Pruitt, you I are up. In. Oh, where's Casey? I don't know. Uh, Probably taking care of a sick child. Yeah. Casey's yeah. taking care of a sick child. We will come back to him. His zombies, we know what his zombies were doing because he gave them very clear instructions. Do any of them nice. breathe fire? None of them breathe fire because he did mm. not cast that ability. Lame. I know. Character sheet. Slam, slam, Wait, slam, who slam. Who oh. Who that is a lot of failures um, and one success. Nine bludgeoning. Yeah, get wrecked, bro. Okay. Uh, who is what? The character. Uh, that is a knight um, that being able to see again is going uh, to swing twice at Sarath, who I believe has one turn left on his mirror images. That's right. Okay. Let's get through him. Let's I, I through didn't know if that, was, if that was one of us or not. That's why I didn't attack him. Both misses, right? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. This knight wow. sucks. Dude, you're awful. Ah, he is. <laughs> All right. And, Sarath, you're up. Okay. Uh... Get up, Sarath. Fuck him up. Hmm. Interesting. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Looking over possibilities. Um, I had a whole plan, and then the whole thing changed. Make a better plan. That's right. Yeah. That's so what I'm going to have to do, I guess. Um... Oh, 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 okay, from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, bonus action, cast a third level. Okay. Um, Fireball. Uh, Fireball. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I thought so, too. Nope. I don't have that spell. Kill all of Casey's zombies and the two guards and light the manor on fire. Or Success. The whole thing. Word. It's always justified. Uh, I'm going to cast a spell I haven't cast in a while. I'm going to summon a Shadow Blade. Okay. One Shadow Blade later. There you go. 20, 60 range. Yes, I agree. It's always it is. Fireball. Correct. Just Fireball. Uh, all right. So you've cast your Shadow Blade with a bonus action. You've got an action and a move. Uh, I'm going to... Um, attack this guy here, this knight, with my shadow blade. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Where are we at? There we are. 20? Uh, 20 will hit. Great. At, uh, third level. Whew. Um, 14 damage. 14 damage. Not 6 thunder, too? Oh, because it's not... Okay. I'm 14 not... Damage. Uh, no. Been... All right. So, he looks real bad. That is a fact. You guys Great. haven't killed this Baron yet? Wait, nope. hang on. Can I Booming Blade with a Shadow Blade? You know, there's a whole conversation around that, and I'm of the opinion that, yes, you can. Is it dumb? Oh! Yeah, then but, I absolutely but also, would have booming bladed with yeah, the shadow feel, blade. Feel feel free to booming blade with the shadow blade. They say it has to be a weapon worth a silver piece. I'm like, it's a it's a magical sword. Fucking deal with it. So yes, <laughs> great. Okay, that then is... I'm gonna run away from this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I appreciate that uh, you actually looked that up, Bob. I did. 
I knew it was going to come up at some point. And anyway, uh, good, good, good DM insight. He well, I mean, an opportunity attack against you. Being in my head, you can't boom me way to shadow blades. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's gonna miss, so... Oh my gosh! Guys, somebody hit my mirror images before they're no, gone! They, they, they fade away at the end of your turn. You're, you wasted your mirror images, you were not the most efficient version of Seraph you could have been. Come Shame. on! Uh, Tom, you're up. Alright, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... 45, 50, 55, 60... He's gonna... He's up in the air, up here... And he's going to shoot the Baroness twice, and okay. Rebecca's going to assist him in his sharpshooting. Okay. Jesus that Christ. Oh, miss. Yeah, second shot. That'll hit. That will hit. Oh, nice shot. 20. 23 points of damage? Yep. Okay, so you did a, a whole 11. Very, very, very nice. All right. Boom. Getting work done. Do you know, I can. a thing that you notice as you get closer... Eris looks surprisingly um, pally with the Baroness. Like, the, the whole vibe there is very different. No. 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 Uh, attack, bonus action, done. Eris, your turn. I think I missed something. <laughs> uh, you, do have, you do have allies next to Sarith, so that is something to keep in mind. He doesn't have any mirror images. You have allies next to him. All of those things are good. Oh, I thought I was going to just attack the person who was attacking my buddy, first and foremost. I mean, I guess technically you could do that. Do I have to because... be strategic against my friends, or can I just be, like, reactive? You can do whatever you want. To protecting you whatever... the Baroness. You, you can do whatever you want. That seems want. the most appropriate to me. Okay. I'm going to so, attack Tom. Back. So are you going to attack Tom, or are you going to attack Rebecca? I'm going to attack Tom. Okay. Um, and you can use a bonus action to give yourself advantage because you're a high-level rogue. Okay. So go ahead and make an attack with advantage against Tom. I hope you don't crit. Hmm. I do. I hope she crits. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Tom dies. Ha-ha! <laughs> you missed me! Oh, okay. Wait, you missed. Would you have advantage? Yeah, 16. All right, you hit. Okay. So go ahead and roll damage. Sneak. You take 25 points of damage as a dagger. Eris throws a dagger at you. Bitch! <laughs> Her Ow. eyes look glazed over in a way that looks similar to how the guard's eyes looked glazed over when you think about it, but anyway. I, Tom doesn't care, and there's also another one of those daggers coming at him, so... <laughs> that is true. Uh, this one yeah. doesn't have advantage. Sorry, bro. But it doesn't oh. matter. Roll that damage. Ooh. Oh, nose. Eight Sorry, piercing. Bro. What the fuck? I thought we were cool. Um, kill kill it... Pruitt, it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if I use your body as a zombie when you die, right? No! <laughs> I mean, yes, I have to say yes. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. So you got eaten. Action. Oh, bonus. Okay. So that's you. God, that go. really hurt. This guard is going to attack Sarith with a spear, like so. Does a sixteen hit you, Sarith? He's AFK. Okay. He takes two points of piercing damage. That's it. Suck on that. Yeah, you rolled bad. Yeah. And this other guard is gonna. Oh god, he's got to fight zombies because he's literally surrounded by zombies. Uh, that'll hit seven piercing damage to this zombie right here. Can I? Can I just affect that one's HP? No, that is fine. This zombie here is down seven. Made a note of it. We're good. Uh, the Baroness goes. The Baroness. Oh boy, hmm. that's not good. She moves 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And the Baroness, uh, Sarith, the Baroness is right up in your grill. And oh, she's God. going to attack you. Twice. Yeah, do it. Also, you're down 2 HP. 
Also, so you're down two? two HP from getting stabbed with a spear. I I I, I lowered him for you. Oh, Do you uh, does a, a six a oh, sixteen hits you? Right? That's okay. actually my temp that would go down. Okay, perfect. Uh, sixteen hits me exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So you get you get grappled, and then she bites you. Cool. Does a twenty three hit you? Yeah. Uh, not when I cast silvery barbs. Silvery barbs. I hate this spell. Does a sixteen hit you? <laughs> Not when I cast shields! Oh, shoot. You've used your reaction to cast Silvery Barbs, my friend. Enjoy your necrotic uh, damage. Okay. So, six points of piercing and seven points of necrotic as you see the life essence from your body be absorbed into the Baroness. Oh, no. Uh, all right. And Blinky, it is your turn. Okay. I will move first. Okay. Five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, and, and then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do magic missile, missile again. again. All right. But I'm gonna cast, cast it as a second level spell. All right. And are all of the missiles targeting the Baroness, or? Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Oh, okay. There we go. Five, 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 three. Okay, so it is possible to roll another number. Great. That's 18 <laughs> points of damage. Very, very nice. Um, you got a bonus and a... Oh, roll a d20. Oh, yeah. And now we're at four. Oh, Ooh, almost. Close. Almost. So now we're at four. Uh, and it is... You got a bonus and a move. Anything else? Um... I'm gonna see, see if I... I can... Oh, hold on. Let's see that's in range. 35? Uh, um... Yeah, I know that's it. Okay, Pruitt, you're up. I have a question. Shoot. Uh... Did the Baroness, like, cast a spell when I was away from computer computers? Um, no. Okay. Uh, wait, on Eris did she? On, yeah, on Eris. She, she, used used an, she used an ability on Naressa that emulates a spell, but is not a spell. Is it dispellable? Yes. Is it counterable? No. Okay. Can I... Okay. Fine. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't make, if, if I can dispel it. So that is perfect. Uh, I can see, is this a column or a table? It's a table. The table, okay, so I can see over it. Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, then I will do that on Harris. No, it's, it's dispellable, not counter spell. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, okay, so you're casting dispel magic. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make your spellcaster check. Do you have inspiration right now? I'm trying to remember. I do not. not. Okay. Uh, it's a two twenty plus plus thing. Yep. That will do. Yeah, Eris, the glaze of the Baroness is a great person, and you should be helping her. Just evaporates, and that little voice in the back of your head's like, "What the hell are you doing? Stop it!" You're killing oh, thank God. Thank God, oh, I was gonna have to do something Sorry, about Tom. that. So thank you, Bobby. You bitch! <laughs> Didn't mean it, bro. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> All right, through it. You've got a bonus action mm -hmm. and a move. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna, gonna move. move but my bonus, bonus action, action is commanding zombies, zombies to eat guards, guards right, now. right now. Okay, got it. The zombies mm -hmm. are going to eat some guards in a second, and you can move yourself, and I'll start rolling zombie attacks. Okay. Um, zombie attacks. <sighs> One, two, three, four. One hit. And... Hey. All right. So flanking, this guard... Flanking bonus. No flanking bonus, but that's kind of what it looks like. They just kind of like... Oh, uh, and one of them gets a, a lands a solid blow and he dies. And they start crawling over him to the, the next one. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, the knight... The knight goes... The knight... Goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Because Take the damage! Oh, was, was he booming bladed? He was he booming bladed. He goddamn was. 
he would not have moved, but I forgot, so fuck it. He dies. He's an idiot. <laughs> he was, he was oh. low enough that that would kill him, and it is Sarah's turn. All right. Hi, everyone. Let me start by saying I'm very sorry. I know you're all going to hate me. Uh, I used the rest of my uh, sorcery points. Oh, I sure hope she doesn't have any sort of true sight or anything. To cast darkness God on... Yeah, I know. Hey, do you guys want to be able to deal damage to the boss? No? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> How about no? Thanks. No, that's, Thanks. that is a dumb thing, and she might have true sight. Ugh, but then she couldn't attack us if she doesn't. I'm so conflicted. All right, I'm just going to try and do you. a bunch of damage to her. Okay, go ahead and try to do a bunch of damage to her. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm going to... to... Huh? No, you're fine. You do you. Alright. Uh... Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh. What'll you do? I'm going to cast um my last Blink mirror Blink. image. <laughs> mirror image, excellent. Okay. As a bonus action. Okay. So you've got an action? With some sorcery points. Mm -hmm. And then I will Booming Blade. With the Shadow Blade? With the Shadow Blade. Alrighty. Go ahead and do your Booming Shadow Blade. Okay. Uh, hey, can I ask something? What is the light? lighting like in here it is well lit ah that's unfortunate yep there is bright light emanating out of blinky ah horrible <laughs> no that doesn't that's not real it is we said it was canon also, no, the, also, oh. the, also the room is well lit sorry well i did say it was canon <laughs> you did all right well only because i said it was canon um I will sh uh yeah, shadow blade. Yeah, that'll hit. Great. Uh third no, not fourth level. Third level. Okay. Uh so, 13 is that uh, necrotic. It is uh no, it is psychic. Oh, okay. Psychic damage. Perfect. It looks like that is fully effective. It's super effective. I was hoping uh, it would be. Okay. And four thunder damage from the booming yeah. blade? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and that makes it Tom's turn. Oh, good. Wait, is she in darkness? She's not in darkness? She is not Ooh, in I darkness. didn't do darkness. <sighs> I was thinking about it. Really want to shoot Nerissa, but maybe he'll shoot her later. Uh, he'll do the old Rebecca Aid sharpshooter dealio. All right, against the Baroness. Sixteen. That will miss. That's a crit, baby. That'll crit. Woo! Very nice shot. Okay, so how much damage do you do with your crit? Twenty-two. Twenty-two and three. Twenty-nine. Seven. Twenty-seven. 29. Sorry. Twenty-nine. No, 20, twenty-two 20. plus seven. Yeah, twenty-nine. <laughs> 29. So half of 29 is 14. Cool. Okay. And then he's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Excuse me. He's going to move here. All right. How do you okay. add 13 to your damage? That's incredible. Uh, sharpshooter lets him add 10. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's why. Yeah, sharpshooter is dumb when you can give yourself advantage regularly. All right, Eris, it is your so turn. Good. Action bonus move. Yep, yep, okay. yep. I am absolutely livid because I hate not being in control. 
So, murder time. Okay, murder time. And now yeah. that I've had a round of Bobby playing my character better than I do, <laughs> um, I know I can use a bonus action <laughs> to give myself advantage. You can. She, you also have an ally next to them. So, But yeah, you can have advantage on the attack roll. Go for it. Do your thing. I have advantage on both of them, right? That's true. Yeah. Well, you can have advantage on one of them. Well, the first but it one doesn't fucking matter. Okay. Uh, go ahead and crit. Let me just tell you, she has three hit points. Well, let's get her done then. <laughs> so, Jesus. I told you I was mad. 23 oh and 9 is 32 points of magical damage. So, yeah, you throw a dagger. You're just like, you. I'm not going to say it because we're recording. Anyway, um, <laughs> we've been watching It's Always Sunny, but it's fine. So, you throw the dagger, and the dagger just goes right in her eye. Um, and, and she topples, like, very, very slowly topples to the ground. And as she dies her body actually burns to cinders um so that whole reviving her as a corpse thing sorry that plan might not work the way that you were hoping um but yeah her body burns to cinders and um where her head landed there's a small chunk of some gem small red gem looks like a ruby Uh, uh, can I pick it up? No. Oh, you're right there, so, yeah? You sure? You, you, uh, Everyone you scrambles for it. <laughs> Ruby! <laughs> yeah. I guess you uh, you pick it up, it. and oh, it is, uh, it looks cracked. It was uh, guard that's alive. He's not. The zombies eat him. <laughs> yeah, the zombies, the zombies murder him. He's dead. Actually, no, he, he comes to, like, as soon as she dies, he's like, what am I, what am I doing? What happened here? And then the zombie. Uh, <laughs> wow. I was about to use my last level, last, last spell slot to disguise self and look like Tapper, but not, no, not worth it. Not worth um, it. He's very dead. Okay. Uh, I hold up the diamond and say, right, Pruitt, I think we've got to have a talk with your girlfriend. Ruby, but yes. Uh, hey, what about the plan? We were supposed to turn her into a zombie. Yeah, we we kind of fucked. Are there, are there any like goblets or like something like a fancy cup or? Yeah, there are fancy cups all over the joint. You're fine. I, I want to pick one up and then I want to scoop her ashes into it. Okay, you scoop her ashes into a goblet. Yeah, I have to. I have to do a thing now. Do uh, do do I know what she was? Making. Arcana check? Do I have advantage because I'm a necromancer? You do. <laughs> okay. You do have advantage because you're a necromancer. Which is a good thing because that wow. in the Uh Yeah, you're pretty confident that she was a vampire spawn. Um, but like, not your run-of-the-mill vampire spawn. Normally vampire spawn aren't that impressive. This was like some next-level vampire spawnness. You think that Whoever created her, you have a pretty good idea. You don't really need an insight roll on this one. Um, you have a pretty good idea who sired her and then like modified her um, to give her some like quasi, if not outright demonic abilities. You think that they were using the ruby to like enhance the the characteristics of the undead you you'd read about like the idea that this could be theoretically possible but mm. the application of it has been you know for obvious reasons outlawed right let's get to the important bit tom's yeah. gonna storm up to Nerissa. <laughs> <laughs> you threw a knife at me nope. you the whammy. you owe me a drink a good drink. The good okay. stuff. Okay. Deal. What, nerd? What? I could use, I could use one myself, honestly. I'm was, not feeling super great. She was under the effects of a, of a, a charm like a, a magical spell like ability, and she had no, no, no control over her own actions at the time. So I don't. 
No, 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 Tom's right. Yeah. No, sorry, those are still drinks. I'm sorry, does the whammy put the blood back in my body? No, it doesn't. Oh. Also, Pruitt. Oh, I guess. I think we're gonna have to have a talk about your girlfriend, because... One, what the fuck was she doing here? What? And two... Who? Who was? What? Yeah. She's from Caressa, right? What was no. she doing here? One, what was she doing here? Two, she owes us a body. We were and... supposed to animate this body. Uh, and three... We don't even have a body to show, like, yeah, we did it. She's dead. We can't prove it. What are we going to go say? Yeah, we killed her and she turned into this gem. Uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, once again, forgetting must important part number three, which is that Tom was right and we should have killed her. We would have never found out about this, well, all these wonderful effects that they've been experimenting on. It's really quite interesting. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care at all. Wait, Pruitt, does Tom care? Um, I... It, it's very important to me. So? And so I, I want it to be important to you as well. So? So I'm asking you if you can make this a priority in, in the things that we need to be um, achieving. Yeah, hey, right. <laughs> well, I would love to make this a priority in the things that we're achieving. <laughs> but the fact that your priority fucked up the rest of our priority, it's kind of a stick in a knife in my claw right now. Uh, I, do, I understand we... I didn't know she was a vampire spawn. It, it, and I don't think any of us knew that. To... A vampire? What are you saying? <laughs> she's a vampire spawn. Oh, she was a vampire? Hold on, who got bit? Who got bit? Wait. I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, she's the rest had definitely got bit. Did I get bit? You did. Oh, shit. What Can I this? examine my wound? <laughs> yeah, you should have... When, when you took that damage earlier, you should have lowered your maximum hit points by seven. Oh, I sorry. I did my regular hit points. I didn't do my max hit points. Okay, you can do your max too. It's down by seven. Well, so, all right. While they're, while they're all arguing about who got bit, <laughs> yeah, um, I have I have collected the ashes of this vampire lady. Mm -hmm. And on this table in front of me, I am creating a bat out of ashes. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. And then I'm going to set the table on fire. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, well, it's a dark night for sure. Cool. The table is on fire. Who the hell is sit. this and what is he doing? Oh, this is the creepy guy that was... The creepy gimp that was chained up in the creepy wizard's basement. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Anyway, I'm going to go loot the place before we, we split. So, you know... Whatever. Um, I'd be interested to see if there's anything that this gem is. Um, if there's any other of these gems, could you could you bring, find them and bring them back to me? Yeah, if I find so, any creepy undead gems, I'll bring them back to you. No problem. Uh, okay. Can you can you check this? Does this look? Am I going to become a vampire? Or... Yeah, you're, you're dead for sure, mate. <laughs> hey, everyone, make a perception check. Except Blinky, well, you're know, good. I know medicine. Yeah, yeah, Blinky, you're okay. Perception. Oh my god. Yeah, perception check. Seven. Cool. Great, great, great. That's what we like to see. Oh, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Perfect. Sarah. So Pruitt and Eris, something you notice is that an interesting thing is happening in the table in front of Blinky. Um, the ashes that he put into the shape of a vampire and lit on fire on the wooden table um, are burning. As is the table. And as you continue watching, you notice the fire is spreading, as fire is wont to do when you light a wooden thing on fire in a wooden building. Blinky, um, Mr. Mr. Blinky, uh, Mr. Blinky, could you put out the fire before it gets out of control, please? Yeah, this is uh, what we must do to honor. Yes, it's much, much honoring that you've been doing, and I think, I think uh, all the honor is done now. I'll say that we leave it. Honestly, I'll say that we leave it. I'll say that we say that, oh no, the the, the place caught fire and everyone fire. died. What a tragedy. And then we'll go and say, see, we did that. At least that's something we can fucking prove. All right, Tom. So you're you're alluding. Uh, you go into that room. You know, most of the stuff that is that is tied down. Let me just do that. 
Uh, most of the stuff that is tied down in that room uh, doesn't look like stuff that you'd want anyway, like plants. Like, what are there plants in here for? Most of them are wilted and dead. It looks like they've been dead quite a long time. Um, there is a chest on the far side of the room. That is a thing that exists there. Yeah, I'm opening it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and um, make a dexterity save. Yeah. Kind of saw that coming. Oh, I'm going to die by a mimic okay, again. Cool. You oh, only yeah, take you only take half of you only take half of twenty eight points of damage. So you take fourteen points of damage. Mother of God, I'm having Jesus. a real bad day. Ow. Um, yeah. So as you open it, just like a, a, a wave of force uh, blasts you back, and you take some damage from it. <laughs> Tom's having a real bad day. Yeah, but uh, there is stuff in there. Cool, I'll take it. Okay, cool. Tom's uh, literally add... not looking at it right now. He's just shoving it all into a bag. Perfect. You <laughs> shove some stuff into a bag that we will get to later. Sure. Uh, um, nothing else in this room looks all that significant. Cool. All right, Tom's going to whistle for Rebecca and then lean out the door and be like, hey, no, it's time to go. And then he's going to break the window and then fly <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, great. That's fantastic. Hi. Um... I see that we're setting the place on fire. You know what? Yeah. I'm fire is spreading. The yellow, do you see the, the yellow? The yellow is the amount of fire that's spread, just to be clear. I'd right. like to, uh, I, I'd like to I don't know what your name is, but... Okay, how, how would you like to try to do that? It is not um, magical fire. It's not, yes. I, well, I use my, uh, like it. Bon, my, my bonfire, um, uh, create bonfire, which is... Oh, oh that is a sorcerer spell, spell so I do need to roll. Oh yeah, go ahead and roll a d20, Kyle. Or, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I'm not here right now. 11, so you're good. Wait, create bonfire, is that a cantrip? Yeah. Okay, let me look at you it. You don't right. roll on cantrips. Oh, okay. Uh, it says anything that's labeled as sorcerer. I'll double check, hold on. I think he's right, I, think you, I, don't, I don't think you roll on cantrips. Okay. okay. Yeah, the bonfire ignites flammable objects in its area. Level one or above. Oh, yeah, Perfect. Right. Uh, yes, the bonfire ignites flammable objects in its area. So, okay, so yeah. how are you planning on stopping that, Casey? I like a blanket or this rug over here, and just it looks, it looks like it's grown beyond the point of the rug putting it out. Yeah. Great. We just got to get the fuck out of here, which is great because can you tell me? Listen, uh, uh, come here. I'm just gonna start grabbing, uh. Pruitt <laughs> and shuffling towards the stairs and being like, bring your zombies, come on, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, tell me, am I gonna turn into a vampire and we gotta talk about your girlfriend because I've got bad news about her, mate. <laughs> the zombies are precariously close to the fire as it's spreading. Alright. We leave. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. You you leave, and that's probably a good place for us to wrap. I wanna I wanna see if I can. So let me just let me just change this because you guys crack me up. Uh, dynamic lighting off. Um, so <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> Amazing. God damn it. God damn it. Thank you, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle, for doing what you did. You you make my day. So you all you all bail. And the uh, the thing goes down oh, in a ruinous fucker. a ruinous pile of ungodly fire. And good job, everyone. Great that is game. Hilarious. I don't, I don't um, have, have a need for, for money. money. The gods take care of me. That's right. The gods take care of you. So it doesn't matter. Um, wow. I'm marvelous. Getting a Sarah doesn't know what he's missing. Austin's going to be early, early in the morning. <laughs> Um, okay, so anyone want to? Uh, there's clocks, Rebecca improvements, zombie healing, Rebecca Greywalk improvements, task force. Pump Rebecca it up. improvements, as expected. Rebecca improvements. I am excited. I have some ideas that we can talk about for that. Wonderful. Um, I didn't realize that we're doing clocks for this game. Mm -hmm. I have an idea for a Blinky clock. Are you going to keep playing Blinky? Is that the plan? I think so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Blinky. Does, man. Do people appreciate Blinky? I love Blinky. I love the fact that I'm not I'll, DMing uh... Blinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll make do. Um, can, I, can I make a suggestion for a Blinky clock? Sure. He 
he, he gets, gets the, the attention, attention of a god. <laughs> Can I impound on, upon, improve upon that suggestion? All right, let's hear it. He gets the attention of Calixtus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I'm going to integrate those ideas. And uh, let's just do a thing here. This is called unwanted text. attention. I think. <laughs> Uh, text size 22, I think. Oh, oh my god. Um, I just wanted Breck, Rebecca and Rubens to, to max out, and then I fly in on a bronze dragon just to freak Sarah out. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even freaking Sarath out anymore. It's just freaking Austin out. I mean, I mean I'll take that. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, you're bettering yourself in the theater or something. You're... <laughs> so, like... There we go. Support blinking up page. At least this page... I thought it was going to be only fans. So, you know... It's... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, Blinky will get a... a, uh, a get, he will get Patreon support. That's so good. Might oh. the Patreon support be from, you know... A patron? Paul? Maybe. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out together when you complete that, that clock. Um, uh, a, and... recently, a recently homeless demon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sarath would shit himself. <laughs> Sarath would fully shit himself. I do kind of love the idea of Person being Blinky's new patron. No. No. <laughs> I'll have You're to You're finally him. free. <laughs> and then he takes over your buddy. Anyway. Um, uh, nah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in seven yeah, months. Next, next week was the day that movers were supposed to drop everything off. Yeah, so so that would be the question, and so I guess we don't need to have a recording of our conversation. Yeah, I'll turn the recording off. Hold on.